Antonio again. First of all, I would like to start this video by saying this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. And if you are scared to go on a roller coaster ride, possibly you want to invest in index funds. But in this case, we want to talk about Safe Moon. We want to drop some news that's potentially going to be groundbreaking for this cryptocurrency uh, that's going to start tomorrow, which is going to be May 16th. But I had to get this video in because this may be groundbreaking for this cryptocurrency. Now, first of all, the reason why I'm starting here on SafeMoon.net for the for the ones that don't know anything about SafeMoon, because let's remember, for those that don't know anything about SafeMoon, it only started March 21st, March 21st on the Binance Smart Chain SafeMoon bared it bared uh bared you know it, it it poked his head out of the ground like a mole but now safe moon the protocol is a community driven fair, uh fair lunch DeFi token three simple functions occur during each trade reflection lp acquisition and burn and if you saw my first video about safe moon then you would know the reason why I'm talking about this cryptocurrency, uh, as of to now, now the current price, this is not the current price, but this is what's listed on the site because it's growing faster and faster every day is 0. 0.0000. I want to say it's 9832 or something like that at the, at the time of this video. There are 2,064,423 holders. There are more holders than that now because people are buying up this cryptocurrency and safe moon has a market cap of four billion dollars that's four billion dollars after only uh what a couple of months a couple of months not even four months because it started in march you're talking about april may not even two months and safe moon is already at a four billion market cap now i want to stop here some people view safe moon as a form of uh, 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 a scam some people look at it as a form of a Ponzi scheme but for the many of us that's part of the safe moon army we look at it as a way to uh, growth because the more money that you keep in safe moon the more dividends you will earn and let's talk about uh, one of the CEOs of, uh, of safe moon with the CEO of safe moon John Carney let's talk about a tweet that he that he put out Operation Phoenix, and we're going to talk more about Opera Operation Phoenix in a minute. It's bigger than any ex exchange listing. The next piece will reveal will be revealed during the Sunday AMA. So this video is coming out today, but we're going to talk about the big reveal on tomorrow, which will be Sunday. So you're probably looking at this video because when I, I looked at this news, I was like, I got to get a video out talking about Safe Moon. So right now, Safe Moon has already passed Die, Avalanche, and Safe Moon is number 44 on the on the cryptocurrency list. That is major. For something that only been out two months and Die has been out well over a year, Safe Moon is already uh, over 4 billion. It's probably at the time of this video or about tomorrow. It will be at $5 billion. So... All right, so let's talk about Operation Phoenix. And we're gonna read some of this article. The story of Project Phoenix and the, and the Unbanked. My post is about the statement of John. And if you don't know who John, I just talked to him about John Carney. At the end of AMA last Sunday, where he said that Safe Moon is going to be the fuel for the freedom of the Unbanked. To be honest with you all, with all of you, being a non-native speaker and coming from Europe, I had no idea what what that was supposed to mean and the magnitude of it. That is where my research started. And let's talk about the research. Since I st I've only found reports concerning the adult pop uh, population while speaking of the unbanked, I had to find out the population at first. So I hopped into Wikipedia and had a look at the age structure. 
There was the first round bump since Wikipedia classifies the A structure into 1, 0, 14, 2, 15, 64, and 365. Um, so let's repeat that. 0 to 14, 15 to 64, and 65 plus. Uh, it was a little shaky when I read it the first time. The easiest percentage to calculate the adult population is to uh, subtract the first group from 100%. And you will get 73.7. That is not quite right since the typical age of attaining an illegal uh, adulthood is 18. Since I have no knowledge about the global age distribution, I assume a constant age distribution. That means that every birth year, approximately 1.5 of the world's population between the ages 15 and 64. Since we have three year, three year between 15 to 18, we should scrap 4.5%. 4, 4 the adult population is therefore 69.2 of the total population. Taking the population of Earth, according to Wikipedia, is 7.8 billion. The total adult population is 5.4 billion. All right, now, let's talk about why the, the reason for uh, some of this... Uh, the breaking news and why this may be major major for safe moon in other words roughly 31.5 percent of adults are unbanked that is a big number one percent of the unbanked equates to 17 million people just imagine if those people started using safe moon we don't even know about the whole world uh, since there's no data about the people zero to 18 years the problem of the unbanked is not a problem of Africa alone, since a lot of the first world countries have many unbanked as well. All right, so conclusion, and let's look at this graph. And we are looking at a big spectrum of uh, how this individual put in the graph of a lot of the unbanked. Moreover, according to the World Bank, almost 50% of the uh, unbanked live in seven countries. And let's talk about these seven countries. Bangladesh, China, India, Indonesia, Mexico, Nigeria, Pakistan, and the rest of the world. That's how it's broken down. Conclusion. To conclude, third world countries, especially the continent of Africa, is not the only place where people suffer for no access to financial services. Even first world countries have huge parts of their populations which have no or limited access to financial services. The future and the goals of Project Phoenix remain shrouded. Last but not least, I, I, would, I want to ask, what are your thoughts about Project Phoenix? So, this is major, major news because when Safe Moon first launched on March 21st, Safe Moon is more of a token. And it, and it launched with one quadrillion. And the more uh, coins or tokens that, because Safe Moon is a token that's burnt off, it gives more leverage to the to, to the investors into Safe Moon. If people buy or sell uh, Safe Moon, where if they sell, uh, they the, the the tokens are not replenished. They are not put back in. They are burnt off, but people that with Safe Moon they earn dividends. The more dividends that you earn, the higher. So you can you are making money two different ways just by being holders of Safe Moon. So basically, what they are talking about doing with Safe Moon is interesting. They're going to take Safe Moon and they're going to use it as a form of um, tokenomics, meaning Safe Moon is going to be broken down. Where it, where it can be used as a form of payment. Yes, there still will be a 10% transaction fee attached to um, every time that you break down. So let's, let's go into the speculation and let's talk about that so you can understand. All right, now this is speculation. This is what I was talking about. I named this part speculation since I have no proof for the statement and they only reflect my thoughts. I, have, I had to interpret the statement. Safe Moon is going to be the fuel for the freedom of an unbanked. I will I would say that the team is trying to make the jump from cryptocurrency to a type of fiat currency. 
especially a replacement for the local currencies in the direction, I mean, in the direct, I mean, in the different African, South American, and Asian countries. A lot of those countries have no functional financial in infrastructure and often use USD USD as a main crypto uh, as a main currency or gold sta uh, standard. Even though the country itself has their own currency, moreover, with the supply cap at 25 trillion Safe Moon, after the burn, the available Safe Moon will be roughly 20 times the circulation supply of USD and Euro. Both countries have a supply of 1.2 in uh, trillion in cash. To generalize this a bit, SafeMoon aims to be a fraction of USD Euro depending on the, uh, of the use case. So we're going to have to wait till tomorrow to see what this is all about and why this is such a big deal, why, why I'm releasing statements about SafeMoon. And for the ones that, you know, view this video, I just want to give a big heads up with this Project Phoenix potentially and how it could change your, you know, change your life excuse me as being a holder of safe moon so once again we will see you in the next video and hopefully once the big news hit tomorrow you will gain major major dividends